What's going on guys? I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys on my videos, so I've decided just to make a question and answer video. This one we're gonna do bike question and answer. So I got a whole bunch of them here. First one is what size of bike should I get? So a few of you are between sizes, you don't know which size to get between a medium or a large or small between a medium. So should you size up or size down? On sizing a bike, generally for a longer torso, you wanna size up and a shorter torso, you wanna size down. Getting a larger size is going to give you a more aggressive riding position and the shorter wheelbase or smaller size you're going to be riding more nimbly on the trail. There are a few adjustments on the bike you can make as well to fit the bike to you a lot better so that's also something you can do. We're all about six foot so we went with the large size bicycles. Those are going to fit us better. Again doing that torso sizing is going to fit you to your bike a lot better. Another question I get is how do you find one of these bikes? Where do I get one? So I went and I searched for dealers in my area and I sent them a message of what I'm looking for and they got back with me whether they were in stock or not. Alternatively, you can order online. This also depends on whether they're in stock or not. Some dealers online will have a notification place. You can sign up for email notifications for when they're in stock. Now, when these were in stock, they sold out pretty fast. So you have to be on the ball, jump in there and order it once you know what you like. This year has been an interesting year. Bikes have been sold out almost everywhere. Some sites will have a place you can put in your email to be notified. So if you know what bike you're going for, enter in your email. Once you get notified, you're gonna to wanna to check that as soon as you get notified because they'll sell out pretty fast. Okay, another question is how much teeth does the rear hub have? And it has 36 teeth on the rear hub. Is the Marley a through axle? Yes, all these bikes here are through axle, the Scouts and the Marley. How much is the new proof scout? These scouts are all about $1,100. These are the race model. That gives us a good base to work on just with the race components at that price point. The Marley was a little bit less, but if you've seen my review video right up here, you can check that out. They're pretty much the same in terms of components. The last question here is, should I get the race or the comp? You're stuck between those two. They're almost the same. The main difference here is gonna be that front fork you have the Rock shocks here on the race and you have a bomber on the comp. The bomber is going to be way ahead of the rock shocks in performance, but for the price, I would get the race and upgrade it to my liking. You also have a 10 speed versus 12 speed, different wheels, slightly larger rotor in the front, and it gets a dropper seat post on there. So you have to decide if that extra 500 is worth the fork and the dropper seat post, or if you want to upgrade it yourself to your liking. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. Hope your questions got answered. If you have any more, leave them down in the comments down below. Be sure to like this video, subscribe, and share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video.